Once again, welcome to the program. Despite the challenging climb, Universal Insurance PLC is bent on staying strong. Let's begin with a story on how it all began 60 years ago. The Universal Insurance Company Limited was established by the then Eastern Nigerian Government, African Continental Bank PLC in 1961 through an association between the Eastern Nigeria Development Corporation and Pearl Assurance Company Limited of London, where ENDC acted as agents to the insurance company. The Universal Insurance Company Limited from inception has been in a partnership relationship with Swiss Reinsurance Company of Zurich, which also provided the necessary reinsurance support. Mr. K. R. Lug became the first general manager of the company until 1963, when Mr. Mark Chikudima was appointed the first indigenous general manager. The Eastern Nigeria became defunct as a result of the aftermath of the Nigeria Civil War. After a series of changes, the East Central State was split into Anambra, Imo, Enugu, Abia and Ebony States. These five states, apart from many individuals, have shares in the company. Today, Universal Insurance PLC, which is a general insurance business organization, has an asset base of over 10 billion naira, issued share capital of 16 billion naira and has paid up capital of over 8 billion naira with shareholders fund after NICOM verification standing at over 8 billion naira. The new Universal Insurance PLC is now a mega organization comprising the former United Trust Assurance Company Limited, Oriental Insurance Company Limited and African Safety Insurance Company Limited. Overtures are still made by some companies seeking to be acquired by Universal Insurance PLC. My chat with the managing director and CEO of Universal Insurance PLC, Ben Ujwatuanu, reveals what has kept the organization going. Universal Insurance PLC has been in business for 60 years. If you ask me, that is a huge, huge feat. There must be a story behind this journey. Yes, you are quite correct. Uh, Universal Insurance PLC opened her doors to the public for insurance business on 1st of March, 1961, uh, in Enugu, the then capital of Eastern States. And uh, from that day to today, the company has been adding value, creating value to both uh, shareholders and policyholders. All are stakeholders are happy and um, that company was the pride of the east of the Niger when you talk about insurance and proudly it is the only one that is still standing out of all insurance companies that came up in the then eastern states and uh, I will tell you that most of the people who started their insurance career from the southeast have one history or the other to tell about how Universal impacted their life, formed them and also put them on the path of their career, uh, including myself. And um, I think uh, the company has done tremendously well. I salute the courage of our founding father who were able to set up this, and all who had uh, along the line been able to be part of the success journey. And in the course of the journey, uh, a, a Nigerian and a, an Igbo son, uh, engineer Cyril Ajago, who is the chairman of Kono Limited, came in to acquire Universal from the Eastern State Government. And uh, that was when the journey of Universal to Lagos started. Mm -hmm. When he acquired it, he moved the head office from Enugu to Lagos. And the former head office of Universal Insurance PLC in Enugu now turned to Universal Hotel in Enugu. And uh, subsequently, the company was listed on the floor of the Nigerian Stock Exchange after the first recapitalization. And, um, Ever since then, the company has been making waves, uh, meeting the obligation of our customers, 
the pride of uh, 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 insurance brokers in the market and all of those. In 2017, Universal Insurance PLC got an award as a CSR Insurance Company of the Year. It means you take issues of development very seriously. Yes, you are quite correct. Um, right from the beginning of the company, uh, that is the idea and the way the founding fathers have been going. Um, one, in area of education, uh, I am quite aware that as at that time, as early as in the 70s and 80s, the Universal Insurance PSA had its, its instituted uh, prize award for the best graduating insurance student in the Institute of Management and Technology, IMT Enugu. Incidentally, myself was a beneficiary of that gesture. I graduated the best student of that department and I got the award from the Universal Insurance PLC. And that also is not only that, they also were providing uh, uh, resource persons in terms of providing lecturers, uh, mentorship, and all the rest of them to students in that department. This Universal had been doing. And uh, we also, as the uh, people running the system now, we have not relented from that. Um, we've donated books to schools, and also to that department, IMT, we have also been involved in other areas of empowerment for youth in education. And that is why we've gotten some award from NANS, National Association of Nigerian Students. We've gotten from West African Students Union and all the rest of them, where they also enlisted uh, me and the company in their Hall of Fame because of the support we have given in the area of uh, education. The African Youth Parliament also had given us an award because of our support for youth development. We are interested in doing that, bringing youth together, encouraging them and helping them to discover themselves. Because of this, we've also received award. We've also visited model as a matter of fact, it's a regular thing for us on a yearly basis. And as part of uh, our celebration for the 60th anniversary, it's one of the things we took very seriously. We had to use it as uh, a closing uh, process in that celebration. We also have been involved in infrastructural development. Uh, sometime in the past, Universal Insurance helped in repenting the media along Agoge Motor Road. We also supported the Actors Guild of Nigeria. So CSR is something that we take very, very seriously in our organization, and we tend to sustain it so that our environment and all the areas we operate will feel the impact of our contribution to the society. Let's talk about your business now. For 43 years, you were in the eastern part of the country, that's Enugu, to be precise. But in 2003, 2004, you came to Lagos. What informed that decision, and how much value has he added to your operation since you moved? It's about uh, strategy. The strategy was, yes, Universal, being in the Southeast from 1961, dominating the Southeast. The, when the new investors came in, the idea was that Universal will leave out its name as being a dominant player not only in the uh, region, but within the nation and globally. And for us to be able to do that part, the, we felt that we had to first position ourselves within the hub. Insurance hub is in Nigeria is Lagos market. And that informed relocating from Enugu to Lagos. But we still maintain a very, very viable uh, directorate office in Enugu. Because as a part of strategy also, we want to be dominant player within the South is where the company originated from. And I will tell you that since Universal moved from Enugu to Lagos, the company has been moving from strength to strength. Uh, 
if you were part of those who were able to listen to me during the sixtieth interactive session, we know that all, for us as a management, consistently for the fa past five years, we have consistently made profit in our operation, and we have grown our revenue, we have grown our assets, we have also grown our shareholders' fund. These are parameters that will show you that the company is doing very well. And we have the capacity and the capital that is sufficiently enough to meet our obligation in this business. And we have been doing that, making sure that our customers are satisfied, we pay our claims as a when due, and that is what attracts more businesses to us. The insurance sector faces various challenges from government policies to ease of doing business, so many things, but how has your organization been able to manage this and move forward? Yes, you are correct, but one of the critical things is that we are focused in driving our uh, business and the policies that uh, drive our business. We have also identified areas that we catch in that will help us to grow our revenue and remain affluent in the business. And that major area is in the area of retail line of business, personal line of business. One of the greatest assets of this nation is our population. And if you look at the demography of this nation, you will discover that a whole lot of uh, people are at the lower level. And if you look at that lower level, you see that there is little or no availability of insurance policies that will satisfy the need of that class of people. And that is why also government is talking about uh, financial inclusion in the area that affect, uh, insurance is involved. So what we have done is also to look at that area, identify that such people, develop products that we provide the level of service they need, make, make it convenient for them in terms of accessibility, in terms of payment. And this is tremendous. Recently, National Insurance Commission approved about eight products for us. And these products are targeted at these people at that level. Personal lines and individuals, those are the lower level. And the premiums are such that they can pay it easily. And they will have a very good insurance cover in case of eventuality in their, in their activities and in their lives. And that has been a very big boost for us and for the insurance public. What story are you hoping to tell in the next 60 years? Wow. I'm not sure all of us are going to be here in the next 60 years. Uh, but I am sure, by the grace of God, that Universal will still remain. Universal Insurance PLC has come to stay. And uh, I want to let people know that the policies and programs we have in Universal Insurance PAC are, are such that has everything for all classes of people. Whether you are from the lower level, the middle class or the upper class, the government and all level. And that means that we are providing the required service to every category of individual within our economy. And that is an instance that Universal is there to meet the needs of people all the time. The fact that we've been able to wither the storm these 60 years shows that we'll have the antidote to stay afloat despite the difficult, uh, difficulty in the economy. So I am quite sure that Universal will remain there. So for all insuring public, everyone who needs to uh, have one form of insurance or the other, I'm worried what is the certainty or the assurance that these companies are going to stay? The, the best place to come to is universal insurance because we have 
passed through the road for the last uh, 60 years, and we are very well prepared to journey beyond the next 60 years. Insurance, universal insurance is a heritage that we are going to leave behind for those who are coming, and the story will be such that will be very pleasant to everybody who will be around. Our corporate social responsibility is an integral part of us. So it's something that we will continue to provide. All our communities where we have our offices across the nation will feel and will continue to feel the impact of the existence of Universal Insurance PSA. When we return, we celebrate the achievements of Dr. Henry Mubola Giakinduro and what earned him the award by the Nigeria Union of Journalists. Stay with us.